Hi, you guys. Today, I will be discussing The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Season 11, Episode 12, Circle of Distrust. It starts with um, the crocodile tears of Erica, and it's after she snapped on Queen Garcia. Garcia feels bad and sad, so she's decided that she may leave. She says she's going to leave. And um, she gets up because she decided that after Lisa Renner don't say something effed up over there sitting with Erica running her mouth when she shouldn't be running her mouth. Because who is Lisa Renner to talk about anybody? So, so Gail, uh, Garcelle gets up. She's about to leave. And Queen Kathy goes over and talks to her and tell her don't leave. To, you know, just take a seat and stay a little longer. Don't leave. And Kathy is such a sweetheart because she's not over there with the crocodile tears like Lisa Renna is, she understands that Garcelle has not done anything wrong. So Garcelle, she decides to stay. And Garcelle goes over and explains to Erica, it wasn't intentional. She did not do that intentional. And she says she would never try to hurt Erica. And I honestly believe Garcelle, she did not say what she said, question her to hurt her. I just honestly do not believe it. And as Crystal said, Garcelle did not hear her say she didn't want to talk about it anymore or talk about it with anybody else. So Garcelle should not be blamed. And Lisa Runner need to shut her mouth with those big blow up lips, blow fish lips. Lisa Runner, shut up. And then um, Erica, in my eyes, I think Erica's acting. All that crying and going on. Y'all gotta remember, Erica was an actress on the soaps. Even before our, what's her name, Aileen got her on there. She was, when she was younger, when she was trying to be an actress, she, she was on the soaps before then. Whatever her name, Aileen, or whatever her name that was on there previously, on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, she got her on the uh, um, soap opera that she worked on. And Erica has done a little jobs here and there, you know? So she knows how to act. She knows how to cry. Erica is acting, you guys. Stop taking into her seriously. She's really crying and she's hurting with those crocodile tears. Erica, please stop. Um, from my eyes and what I see and what my girl Sutton sees, none of this is Garcelle's fault. Erica was looking for someone to blame and it was more going on than she had let the ladies know. So uh, Erica said, no, you don't have to go home. I'm going to go home. She said she has some things to take care of. She need to get back. The ladies, uh, everyone is self-sulting. Chris and Garcelle went outside when she was, when Erica was leaving. Those three ladies, Sutting, Crystal, and Garcelle stayed in the house, and they were talking. Uh, Crystal and Sutton tells Garcelle, it is not your fault. Don't blame yourself. Stop it. Don't blame yourself, Garcelle. Uh, Garcelle noticed the division in the home. She was telling Crystal and Sutton about, it. You, do you not see it's divided, them and us? They are out there with her. Garcelle made a very good point. So Erica left. Lisa comes in, the ladies all sitting around. And here goes Lisa, the one that can't afford to talk about anybody because how she did her friend, uh, Denise, she should never open her mouth, mouth at all. That mouse trap, those jungle lips, or whatever you want to call it, her lips are horrible. Whoever did Lisa Renner's lips need they butt whipped. So Lisa uh, questions Garcelle like um, she's a liar. She's questioning Garcelle like she's full of it, which Garcelle is not a liar, and she's not full of it. Lisa, um, kick rocks, love Botox queen with your messy self. Kick rocks, that's how I feel about you. Garcelle, just because you are the only black person, that does not mean let any of them run over you. I know you kind of feel like you don't want to say the wrong thing because you'll come off as the angry black woman. Don't let them run over you. Don't. You are a beautiful African, um, Haitian queen. Do not let them run over you. And no, never feel that you 
or wrong when you're not. Because that's what Lisa Renner trying to do. So, um, if it had would have been me, I would have read Lisa Renner for fifth. She wouldn't have never done that to me. What she's trying to do to Garcelle, she wouldn't have had the opportunity to do to me. I would have read her down like she ain't never been read before. Lisa, you need to back the F up because you are not in a place to give anyone advice or to question them. So uh, Garcelle and uh, Crystal, they left the house because, you know, they're going to end, end up having dinner later. So they went home, to their, went to their hotels to freshen up and get dressed for the evening dinner. Uh, the Botox babes who are still in the house are talking about Garcelle when she left. Yes, they the Botox babes, babes, because all of them had something done to their face. All of them. <laughs> Garcelle don't need that because the melanin in our skin, we don't need it. I'm 48 years old and I don't have a wrinkle on me. Mama look good. Those are some Botox babes. Yes, they are. Every last one of them. They are the ones that left in the house and they talking about Garcelle. They're talking about uh, Eric and Tom, Eric and Tom. And for them to, Lisa to run her mouth about Garcelle saying anything about Erica, every time Erica leave off around you Botox babes, was she a Botox babe too? Y'all talking smack about her. That's why she will only tell Crystal and Garcelle something because y'all talk about her poorly. Um, Kathy says, let's get uh, Ruth Chris, you know, let's order some Ruth Chris because the ladies are trying to figure out what they want to eat. So they ordered Ruth Chris. They ordered it in to have it delivered so they can stay in and eat. And the ladies, they decide, you know, the Botox babes decide they're going to get dressed for dinner. And they're fine as wear. So Dorit is dressed in, um, they all got nice and dressed up already down. The ladies are. Then here goes Dorit coming down stairs with Gucci lingerie. Because that look like nothing but lingerie or some um, stripper close to me, but it was nice. It was Gucci, but I think it would have been better for her to wear it for uh, PK, not for the ladies. Save it for PK. Girl, nobody want to see you walking around like that. Nobody but you and PK, okay? Botox, babe. So Sutton has on her vintage Cartier diamond bracelet, and Miss Lisa so nosy. Oh my God, let me see, let me see. Lisa, you so nosy, because you can't afford that. Sutton got real money. She ain't like you and Erica. Okay? No. So, um, Garcelle and Crystal arrives for dinner in their beautiful red attires. They look like they're ready for Christmas. The lady said that they um, all text, um, that's why they're sitting around. They all said they um, text Erica. And Garcelle said um, she texts uh, Erica as well. And Kyle asked if she responded. She said, no, she didn't respond. And Garcelle said, I didn't expect her to. Lisa with her blowfish lips chimes in at Garcelle. Lisa, please go blow hair with them blowfish lips. Go blow hair and shut the F up. Go blow hair and his acrylic nails. How about that? That's even better. Lisa, you the messiest be on the show. You should never question anyone. Just shut the F up, okay? They are having dinner. Um, and, you know, the dinner came from Ruth Chris. They having a nice dinner from Ruth Chris. The ladies were at the table. And they said they want to play a game. And then they said we're going to play a bad game or a good game first. I think, you know, I honestly think it's a bad idea. And, um... Queen Kathy said, we're going to play, play, we'll say the bad for later. Play the bad later. So, and they also discuss racism and they, well, they discuss being equal as well. And these are some um, dumb Botox Bettys. I don't think Kathy is dumb. It's just that that's her way of thinking. I don't, honestly don't even think Kathy is racist. I don't. But I can't say it for the other ones because uh, Dorit said some of the most stupidest stuff sent at the table about my kids, those are the most people that they love. Brown and black people, black people, she loved them the most. My mom's best friend is black. Dorit, you sound dumb. Black people hate when y'all say y'all have a, 
a black friend. That's really like the worst of the worst. And Garcelle is sitting there, she's trying to explain. She has to, you know, explain her children how to drive and when they're out and about because of they're black. And they will be harassed by the white police, which is real. It's the truth. And uh, Kathy was saying something about, well, how it's, it's just strange to have to explain something to a four-year-old. And Garcelle like, well, we have to explain to four-year-olds about racism. We have to. And the ladies don't get it. Cal seems to um, somewhat get it. But Doree, she just dumb as a bag of rocks. Doree, you just need to be our fashion queen. Never open your mouth. Just keep dressing nice in your high-end items. And just shut up. Don't say anything. You, you never make sense. Kyle seems to get it, I guess. I guess you get it. Kathy is my favorite. I honestly think that that's, you know, what she really think and feel. And I honestly do not believe she's a racist. Um, she talks about her situation with her and Michael Jackson growing up and so on. But the rest of them, they just some Botox dumb babies, okay? Sutton said, <laughs> I'm going to stick to my cream spinach and I'm staying out of it. I'm staying out of that conversation. That's what uh, Sutton said. Uh, Garcelle is uh, right. We are not equal. We see it every day. I'm black. I see it every day. We are not equal. Not in any form. Every day I experience racism. If I go in the store, I get followed. It doesn't matter. If you go in the grocery store, they start announcing on the intercom stuff. You know what I mean? On the intercom. Because you're black on the aisle. You go in Walmart and you're black and you're on the aisle, they start doing that camera mess and talking about such and such. You know, yeah, black people know what I'm talking about. But I watched how a white lady was in Walmart and she was on the aisle. They didn't do that to her. But as soon as I went on down the aisle, bam, they do it to me. Black people experience racism every day day we are hated by caucasians and i will not say all caucasians because that's not true so the botox betties they don't get it and not all of them are botox betties i do not think sultan is racist no i don't sultan can get on people's nerves but she's not racist um Uh, Crystal is trying to give uh, her experience. The re sitting as a dummy, still not getting it. So she tried to get him her experience, and you know she was like open, have open conversations help. And it's tough, and you know like Garcia's like tough conversations is what we have to have. Okay. Now they discussing about. Um, I think at this time. Um, Garcelle and um, Garcelle and Crystal, they leave after the dinner and the ladies are sitting around and they start discussing Harry and his acrylic nails. He claimed he got the acrylic long nails for to do his guitar. That's crazy because they have picks for that. And you only need one. You don't need the nails on all five of your fingers, Harry. And I bet, he only sent a picture of one hand. I bet you he has them on both hands. Harry, just come on out the closet. And uh, Lisa Renner got mad at um, Kyle's sister that time. What's her name? I can't think of her name right now. The blonde. She got mad at her because she said something at the table. And Lisa went and broke a glass. Violence. Ain't this what y'all haul on black people? They're violent. Lisa Renner, you was violent that day. Because you know. That Kyle's sister, what is her name? I can't think of her name right now, the blonde head, was telling the truth about your husband. Now your husband went and got acrylic nails. Lisa, the way you carry on, it's something ain't right in your home, allegedly. Something ain't right. Your man got acrylic long nails on. No, boo boo. Straight men don't do that. I don't care how you try to put it to me. No. And then the ladies, they um, discuss more about uh, Erica and Tom. The ladies say it's bad and it's the rise and fall. That's what the ladies say. Um, 
They discussed Tom stole millions and they talking about the LA Times has released um, more info. They say e, uh, Erica is involved. That's what it says, the LA Times. It ain't what I said, that's what the LA Times said. That uh, Erica is involved and uh, Tom said the money is gone. I don't believe that. I don't know what they did with the money, but that money is not gone. Because if this would not happen, this whole situation with Erica and Tom would not have happened, they would still be buying. She would be out shopping, honey. Trust me. They lying. So uh, Sutton is not buying Erica's BS. The ladies all go home. Yes, they all go home and they talking to their families. Uh, little Miss Dere is in her house. She's on the phone with PK while he's with Boy George. Is that his only client? I'm just questioning. But he's with Boy George and PK said you can't you can you can support her and be her friend, but you can't support her BS. Sultan wants no port, no ports of Miss Erica, and I don't blame her. Sultan, like, I'm not getting involved with this. This is some hot mess. They um, like I said, they all meet up at the Reese house, they talking, and Sutton just letting them know she wants no part of it. And dear Kathy said, they all went around and said how long they known her. And dear Kathy, like, I don't know her. Kathy looked in that camera and said, I don't know her. Kathy's smart. She's the smartest one out of the bunch, and that's why I love her. She's my favorite, her and Garcelle. And so they go to uh, episode 13. Um, the ladies at the point, they don't trust Erica. They not believe anything she says. Um, they ask her, did she know anything? They all sitting and talking, and Erica asked her, they scared of her. And Sutton said something how she felt, and... Cal asked her a question, so I'm really, really ready for episode um, 13 because episode 12 was great. Episode 13, so like it's going to be good because the ladies are no longer trusting Erica. So stay tuned for my review on episode 13. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can share if you like. Um, I will leave in the description my cash app if you would like to donate to my channel. Anything that I have going on in my life you would like to support, I will have the links down at the bottom. I have written four books. You can, it's available in um, hard paperback and uh, ebook. So I will put the links to my books down there. I've written four books. Uh, my autobiography, The Purple Cinderella. Uh, the Story of Kate was my second book. My third book, The Red Lipstick Hustler, Set the World on Fire, is about me as well. And then the Red Lipstick Hustler Beauty Guide, which is my fourth book I wrote during the quarantine. So the links will be in the description, okay? So support me in that way if you would like. Um, I will put links down to my products that I have, the Red Lipstick Hustler brand. It, it comes with different things. I have nine shades of lipstick under the Red Lipstick Hustler. There are organic lipsticks. Um, you can purchase my hair growth oil. This is all my hair, real hair, all mine long healthy hair you too can have long healthy hair it you have to be consistent when you do something using a product you need to be consistent okay so thank you hit the like button and thank you for this beautiful time with you guys i always enjoy it with you to next time episode 13. bye